Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we are reacting to Freddie Mercury feature, featuring Montserrat Caballé. She is a Spanish opera singer. This is Barcelona. I'm excited. I'm very <laughs> glad that you do the intros. I hope I got that very, right. Very, very happy that I have you around. I am so excited for this because we're so used to Freddie Mercury. His voice is so amazing. His talent is like was amazing and impeccable. He left so many legendary songs. And just for him to be combining his talents with an opera singer, I'm so looking forward to the, seeing how this is going to play out. Yeah. Like, this is going to be so cool. I've never heard him singing outside of With Queen. So this yeah. comes from the channel Freddie Mercury Solo. Um, so yeah, subscribe, hit the like button. Love it. And uh, we've done that. So you go do it as well. We've got links down below. Let's get into this. Let's do it. Do we have a video? Oh, yes. yes. Okay, good. Barcelona. Barcelona. Freddie sure cleans up nice. He does not even look like himself. I had this perfect dream. Sueño me volvió. This dream was me and you. I want all the world to see. Instinct me My guide and inspiration Now my dream is slowly coming true Wow, oh, what? It's just as magical as I thought it was going to be Interesting Whew, composition. Whoever real. came up with this, I don't know, like, I don't even know what to think about this. Yeah. Whoever came up with this <laughs> idea speechless. to mix these things together is a beautiful. genius. Because this is beautiful, but it's also just epic. Yeah. It's so epic. Wow. Someday. 
What a collaboration that was that I never oh expected gosh. to see in my life. That was so stunning. And then with the fireworks, it had so many awesome elements to it that just added more to it. And oh my gosh, Freddie loved opera. What a magnificent pairing. I love this. I'm sure he dreamed of a moment like this. That's amazing. That's so awesome. I don't even know. Yeah, I got goosebumps listening to that as well. Yeah, that was stunning. Oh my gosh gosh man like what is this oh it says barcelona 92 was the best opening what was it an opening to though some kind of sports something right or so no let's see there's a lot of links and things like that in the description <clears throat> um it's definitely a tribute like an opening ceremony to doesn't something doesn't really say yeah it doesn't really say what this is an opening for um so let us know down below. Yeah, let, let us, us know. know down below. There's no information in the description about mm -hmm. what it was actually from. Um, uh, there was never a song for an Olympics. So is this the opening to the Olympics in 92? That's freaking cool. We might have just answered our own yeah, question. Yeah, we might have. But we still need <laughs> clarification whether we're right. <laughs> yeah, let um, us know if we're right. That's epic. If we're on the, if we're if on I, the right track. If you track. were there in person, yeah. I am very jealous because that was just very, very cool so so cool yeah that was stunning and just a beautiful mix of his voice his rasp his power that he has in that rock ballad type setting like he just has that beautiful compliment to her uh soprano that was so beautiful that was stunning yeah that was amazing Ugh. i was i was so impressed by that yeah that sounded so lovely it was just the most epic song and then you throw fireworks in there and just like everything going on around it that was so cool what a good setting yeah yeah i want to listen to that again yeah, that, was that was so, so epic good. that was totally just... it makes me want to so stupid story that just popped into my head but me and my friend amanda back in school i haven't talked to her in years but we used to, i used to go over to her house and her parents had that huge king size master bedroom uh shelf like backdrop to their uh their bed and on the top of it where you like put like you could put like vases or like plants or whatever it was like little, two little cubby holes and they had matching ones on each side so we'd climb up there and sit down in there and the acoustics were really good in their room so we would fake like we were opera singers and we would sing as loud as possible and it was just i just had that memory in my brain like i could never be an opera singer the amount of lung capacity that you have to have 
have. And in order to hit those notes and for it to sound the way that it does, it's just fantastic to me. That was just like a little girl's dream, I think, in the in the room that we thought that we could do something like that. But just like a little cool memory, a little yeah. tidbit of my life. But Yeah, that's a very cool memory. And also that was just her voice was incredible. Yeah, so stunning. I can't even believe that. I just love that sound. I, I've never appreciated opera until we started doing these reaction videos, though, because you just get to appreciate all different kinds of artistry from all around the world, all different voices, all different compositions of music, all different instruments that are being used and the way people can perform with their voices. Like we've seen people do, you know, beatboxing and just amazing things with their with yeah. your voice. It's just crazy to see what talents out there and has been out there for a long time. <laughs> well, that was very incredible. Um, both of these amazing artists are no longer with us. So mm -hmm. It was a pleasure to react to this. Yeah, I'm glad it's on the internet so we can see it forever. Yeah, may they rest in peace. And uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, go give this video a like. Go give it a watch in your own time. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, watch it again. Even yeah. if you've already seen it. Do it again. But yeah, we'll see you on the next one, friends. Bye, friends. Peace. I'm not scared of your love.